we know that a lot of kids and frankly, a lot of adults to get a bit scared mm -hmm. about receiving a shot of any kind, especially we've all heard about some of the side effects. Um, some people don't have any side effects. Some people it puts them down for a day or two with um, fever and just aches and pains, whatever it is. So um, how can I as a parent calm my child's fears about receiving a COVID-19 immunization? Sure. There's several ways that you, you know, well, I guess I'll offer a menu of things that moms might want to consider to do. So first is a pick, picking a familiar location. So if your usual source of care offers the vaccine, then they're used to going to that space. So that will be a known place where that could be a, a place of comfort for them. If a child has a favorite comfort item, you know, a favorite bear or favorite toy, you know, they can hold that as well. Um, telling the child what to expect. Um, our kids are pretty smart. And so springing something on them um, that kind of breaks down that bond of honesty. And so letting them know you will going to get um, maybe a little poke in the arm instead of using the term shot or getting a needle. Uh, so ways to keep them, you're being honest with them, but not... Um, get uh, speaking to it in a way that's going to distract them and cause more fear. If they have fears of needles, um, some of the things you might want to consider in our website under needle, if you go into the cdc.gov website and go under needle fears or um, shots, there's suggestions there, but you might want to consider if you could have access to them, things like numbing creams, or sprays that I know you can find over the counter, um, cooling sprays. Those sometimes help um, for kids that um, don't really like needles that, off, uh, that often. Um, in fact, anecdotally, my son's pediatrician, who was one of my medical school colleagues, she hates needles. And so she brought some of that numbing spray with her when she got hers and readily showed it on her Facebook page. Like, I hate needles and I got it. So I mean, that might be a space for it as well. And also letting, we saw with our teenagers in particular, we let them know you might feel tired for a day or two and it's okay. And if you have the opportunity to do this, maybe on a time where it's maybe less stressful going on in the child's life, maybe do it where they've got the weekend to recover. Mm -hmm. If they should have that, that's another thing to think about. Um, having them, again, on our website, we talk about, you may need additional fluids so get encourage them to drink liquids um that they can you can offer your child um pain medicine afterwards tylenol is a good one if your kid can to tolerate that and so these are things because they might have a little bit of discomfort after being poked in the arm with a needle so these are just things that are in, and remind them this is your body getting stronger yeah. that if you feel your tummy hurts a little bit or your arm hurts a little bit, that that's all normal, that nothing's wrong with you, that you are yours. It's your body getting stronger to fight off um, a particular illness. And so it's you getting stronger. That's your body's normal way of being its best self. And so these are just some suggestions that you might want to consider. And again, our website under needle fears and needle phobias has lots of other suggestions for them to consider.